Bible. The Bible is a living book. The Bible is is amazing. The Bible the Bible is the world and the world is the Bible. Everything you see in the Bible you see in the world and everything you see in the world is represented in the Bible. So it is a scientific book with codes and secrets and magic. When I say magic, I mean you can read the Bible, you can read a Bible verse first time and don't get the message but you go out in life and your soul evolves and you go through some experience and you come back and you read the exact same verse and you see it differently and you see the deeper meaning of the verse because of life and experience so you read the bible you have to live life to the fullest and then return to the bible to the fullest and have philosophy and see how you've grown um It is a tool. It is a tool that helps people and God participate in a mission together. Really, it is a collection of, of um, what can we say? It is a collection of of um, of partnerships between man and God. Uh, yeah, kind of like how many, you know, a, uh, there's a particular word I'm looking for that I can't seem to find. A collection of reports? No, nah, there's a word I'm looking for. Anyway, the point I'm trying to say is that every single story in the Bible is about a possible partnership with God uh, a partnership, a tragic partnership a successful partnership but it's always about an interaction between a man and God or a woman and God or a child and God and it's a uh, one on one basis you will see that God never really deals with talking to masses of people at once he never ever ever brings any of his purposes to a lot of people like how a politician would or a, a preacher would have a congregation of people and say all of you listen blah 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 it is never about that it is about the one person that has that one-on-one -on -one contact with God. So God will call Moses. If God wants to do something with a lot of people, he will call one person and say, come, I put my trust in you as a person and in you as a person who's made in my image and who I'm given these abilities and these opportunities and these amount of angels to fulfill it. So, if you put your trust in me, we can do it together. And then that's when that person goes and deals with the masses of the people. It's always a one-on-one -on -one because each one of us is seen as God himself by God. So when God talks to a person, he's talking to himself, really, as far as he's concerned. Uh, appealing to that person to look within themselves and see that they have the qualities and the abilities to fulfill this thing that God is proposing. And when you want to do something, you can go, it can go the other way around. You can go to God and say, on a one-to-one -one basis, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and say, hey God, I've got this and this plan and I need X amount of people, but I'm coming to you. Because if I tell you, then you can tell the people. 
you understand and god will find a way to reach those people for those people to come and help you with what it is that you want to do you see so the bible is a collection of one-on-one -on -one partnerships one-on-one -on -one agreements between a variety of people this one-on-one -on -one agreement happens all the time everywhere uh, amongst all the seven billion people who are in the world however the Bible helps to give you examples of those partnerships so that you can draw parallels or take lessons from the partnerships like Hezekiah he had a wish you know Jonah had an attitude you know Adam had a failure you know uh, Eve she had curiosity and Abraham had total faith so all these things are there to kind of like show you that you know in your relation with God there are ways and there's you know you don't have to reinvent the wheel each time that's what I mean